Hi and welcome back to another Ed's Endeavours. So today I'm with my lovely granddad, Ickle Massey, um, and I'm in East Brent for Christmas. If you don't know where East Brent is, it's near Western Pier, Western Supermare, and Burnham, Burnham on Sea. And we're staying in a lovely cottage. It's so nice. They put a Christmas tree Shall up. I show for them us. the tree. Yeah, the tree. Who are there. all these presents for, Teddy? Who are ninety-eight percent of the presents for? This guy. Yes, that guy that right in front of the camera. Yes. So today I'm going to do a bit of cooking. We are going to make a trifle. Mm -mm. So that'll be funny. Now, can Grandad tell us the history of this trifle dish? The yep. history of the trifle is that my mother used to bake it every Christmas, and since she's died, I've taken on the chore because no one else seems to be capable of making a decent trifle. Oh, fighting talk, Ted, wouldn't oh. you say? Oh. Yes, so this dish has been in the Walker house for many years. This belonged to my grandmother. Yep, so that belonged to your great, great grandmother, Teddy. Wow. That's pretty, is that right? Yeah, great, great that's grandmother. That's scary. So that's one old dish. So, so first of all, Teddy, we have to use trifle sponges. Them hold the them up, hold them up. Them the right then. Now open the trifle sponge. Now there's something, I think there's something quite unusual about these. Can you tell us when you get them out of the packet, are they hard or soft? Hard. Are they hard when you eat them, though? No. No? What do you think makes them go because soft? Because you soak them in jelly. The liquid, the liquid soaks soft. into them, doesn't it? Well soak done. Them. Right, over the Wait. dish. Oh, That's no. it. Oh, yeah, Grandad, I'll show you, look. Right, let's have a see what we're doing. Oh, now then, chef. How many of these are you going to use? All of them? As many as it takes. Oh, as many as it takes. That sounds exact, yeah, doesn't it, Teddy? It sounds pretty precise. It's a very exact science. As many as it takes. Have you got uh, any chefy questions to ask Grandad about making this trifle? Not do you know, really. Do you know what layers go into it, Teddy? What's, no. what, what's this? What are those we're putting in there? These are sponge fingers. Correct. And then what do we do after we've done that? You put jelly in? No, you no. don't. Oh, he's foxing you put us. Raspberries in. Raspberry! What? Wait, no. Is that right? Can we see? I, they don't, I don't know about them. Have they not got juice in with them, Grandad? Do you not I've use the juice? the juice out. I use the juice you to make the jelly. Aha! Because the jelly was strong of flavor. Yeah, we don't want any waste, do we? How are we diddling with those? Oh, lovely. Might as well use them all up. Might use them all. Go yeah. on. Give them a penny and for a pound. That's what I say, Ted's. And that's a pretty good saying. Now, the only problem with that, Teddy, is that the raspberries is the seeds oh. stick in your teeth. I was just going to say that. They Don't they, Teddy? They do. Right. All gone. Now, gone. if Edward would care to take that tin of raspberries okay. yeah. and scatter them Scattering. all over the Shaking. What do they smell like? They nice smell sniff. Let's like have a strawberries, basically. Let's have a sip. Oh, it's a lovely smell. That smell reminds me of my granddad's garden. Should we do it then? Yes, yeah, sprinkle them in. It's all right, doesn't matter. Sprinkle them all over. It's, get, hold it a bit closer so you don't lose any. Let's have a seat. Oh, no, let's spread them out. That's all right. You can use this, look. Use that to stir them up a bit. Mix them all in. Oh, oh you got to get right in there. Ah, there we go. I've got it now. That's it. I've got it Spread them all out. Otherwise, some lucky devil's going to have a chunk of trifle with a huge amount of raspberries in, aren't they? The lucky devils. We have to make the jelly. That's This will be good. fun. I love jelly, so. Lucky can go. Normally speaking, that does look good. Yeah. You make a pint of jelly. Yeah. With a pint of water, but I prefer my jelly a little stiffer. Oh. So I'm going to use two, and Trade I'm going secrets. to use one and a half pints. Trade which secrets, will, Dad. Which will include the raspberry juice. Oh, well, there's our juice. Okay. So we have to take this and take a bit of this, shouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Turn the top off that and put it in that jug. If I can get enough. Yeah. 
Yeah, you don't really get the top Grandad Tate, you poor. How's that for a deal? Yeah, that's good. It's a good deal. We got no nails. There we are. In the joke. Thank you. In the joke. Look at that. Does it smell like, can we see? What's it, can you describe it? What's it like in there? What does it smell like? It tastes kind of like raspberry and it's really strong. Oh, and it's, is it, what texture is it, Teddy? It's powder. Powder, that's right. Just let me read this first. That's it. That's it. Go on then, Ted. Sprinkle it in. Let's see what you got. And this one too. Oh, nice. It looks a bit like those sherbet dabs, doesn't it, Teddy, that you get a little lolly with to poke yeah, it. Yeah, it does. And then you have to get another spoon. Oh, we have a whisk. A whisk? We have a whisk. Oh, Ted's good at well, whisking, you go. aren't you? Right, I'm going to pour the water. Yeah. Ooh. Teddy, talk us through what layers you think a trifle should have. So, obviously, this is the base, isn't it? Yeah. So, we know we've got sponge fingers, raspberries and jelly. Yeah. What do you think happens after that? Is it the yellow substance after that, Grandad? Custard. 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 You have to wait for the jelly to set. Yeah, otherwise you'd have a big mess. And you have to wait for the custard to cool before you spread it on the jelly. And also you make your custard a little thick. Yeah. So it sets. But we shan't be doing that until tomorrow. Tomorrow. Teddy, what goes on top of the custard then? It's white. And I love it with white, cake. I know. Dripping cream. cream. Not dripping cream. Dripping is a kind of fat, um, isn't it? Well, cream is oh as well. Yeah. Cream. I think you're going to like this oh, trifle, Teddy. That's very, very hot. So, Grandad, how many years now would you say have you been making this at Christmas? Mm -hmm. My mother died in uh, 1980. Mind you, I didn't start making it straight away. No, that's good. That's so nice. Stir, Is it raspberry jelly you're using or strawberry? Oh, raspberry. Oh, raspberry's my favourite flavour. I like the flavor. raspberries with the cream and the custard. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure sweet and sour. But Mm, mm I love raspberries. Chinese trifles. It is sour. sweet and sour. Yeah. I prefer raspberry to strawberry. Andy, I'm doing a survey, love. Coming to our Christmas survey. How are you getting on? Having a nice time so far? Yeah, it's Cracking. Lovely. Now I'm doing a raspberry v strawberry survey. Which do you prefer? Raspberry. Raspberry. Hey. So, yes. Look at all these treats we've got. And that's just some of them. Oh, it's we're terrible. Shouldn't be showing this to Slimming World, should I? No. Right, so we're whisking. And so I use chunks of jelly. And you know, they're such a pain because they take so long to I dissolve. Know. Me and Nandy. And you get big chunks in your trifle. Me and Nandy some jelly. And well, the reason that I'm using this jelly is because it's sugar free and my wife is diabetic. Ah, and what was you going to say, It Ted? literally took ages to It does, dissolve. doesn't it, it? It was like... You get little it was squares like still. Six months old or something. It takes so. a long time to dissolve. So I think these packets of powder are a very good idea. Yeah. Now, having dissolved the jelly in hot water, you have to mix it with an equal measure of cold water. I wonder if but Teddy. On this occasion, I have to use juice from the raspberries. Yes. And top to top in. Teddy, do you want to pour as Grandad whisks? Yeah. Let Teddy pour it in, Grandad. Oh no, or not. Uh -huh. Can Teddy do some whisking, Grandad? You can mix that up. He's a very good whisker. Oh, mix that Go on, Teddy. Sure nicely mixed. Yeah, make sure it doesn't splash out. Loving your work. Now, if you had those cubes, that wouldn't be dissolved, would it, Teddy? Yeah, but that's really, really good. I like the powder. Let's have a look at the powder. Yes, we'll use that Lovely. powder from now on. Does it still smell nice like ah, raspberries? Ah, Lovely. Now what we have to do right then. Put the mixture onto the spoon. Oh, it oh, could be, be messy. This will be fun. Way, oh, look oh, at that. Oh, Perfect oh. ratios. No, they soak it up now, you see. You have to mush all uh, those up. Ted's a good musher. Go on, yep. Ted, get mushing. Squash them all, squash them all. Because they're going to soak that liquid up. They're going up. to do a little washing up. Oh, let's have a see. 
Ooh. just gonna wash her. Do you feel like you're crushing grapes making wine? Yeah. A bit like that, isn't it? I love the way the insides have gone all pink. Yeah, they go soft very quickly, don't they? Properly mush them, properly squish them into squishiness. Press right down on the bottom of the bowl, that's it. We want them absolutely squished beyond oh. recognition. Oh, it's pretty low. Use your whisk if you want to. Oh. Press down oh, with the whisk. Yeah. That's a bit easier. There we go. Press down really hard so the fingers all fall apart. So do you think you can make this without granddad? Do you think you remember what you need to do? Can you recap what you've done so far? So you had to get two packets of jelly. Yeah. You have to get some raspberries, yeah. juice them. Don't forget the spongy bits. Get some sponge fingers. Yeah. Put the sponge fingers in, crumble them into like little bits. Yeah. Then you add the raspberries, yeah. sprinkle it on the top. Yeah. Then you pour the jelly mixture into a bowl. With, with the boiling water, with yeah. boiling water. Mm -hmm. Add the juice to it from mm -hmm, in there, mm -hmm. add it to here, press it against the bowl. Oh, that's coming along lovely now. And there you have it. Yes, Grandad, we've discovered that they're easier to squish with a whisk, aren't they, Teddy? Yeah. Lovely. So, what's going to happen with that now, then? Uh, we're going to let it set. How long will it take to set, Grandad? It'll uh, take overnight. So you're going to leave that overnight, aren't it's you? Leave it overnight, and then tomorrow we will put the custard. You're going to whisk on, it. And then when the custard is set, we will put the uh, cream on. Wow! Oh, what's he going to do now? And then you can decorate oh, the top I'm of it. I'm moving away from this. Wait, can I have a go? Of course you can have a go. I can whisk. He's done a good whisk. job, hasn't he, Grandad? He has done a good job, but the trouble is doing it by hand as well, isn't it? So I prefer to do it with it. You know, you break it up. Roughly with a whisk, but then if you do it with a spoon, oh, it's going to be loud. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be loud. There's going to be a cover your ears. There's going to be a period of noise now yeah. and no talking, yeah. isn't that? We're not turned on at the plug, Grandad. I don't think. I'm not used to this high tech stuff. Oh, loving it. Oh, we don't want it all over the shop, do we? That's it, that's perfect. Now, I have never seen a trifle get whisked before, have you, Teddy? That. that looks so satisfying. Leave it on the bottom, that's it. Wow, how does that feel? It's right, it's like a man, Shay. Is it satisfying watching it all disintegrate? Yeah. You're very good at that. That's it. It doesn't look like jelly and uh, biscuity things. It looks like, I don't know, black pudding or something. It's like it? a wave machine at the swimming it pool. Does, doesn't it? Oh, Teddy, imagine if you had a bath full of that. You could get in it like Miranda sings, oh. couldn't you? Oh, yeah. When she took the slurpy bath and you she just... You could squish it between your toes, don't you? It. Well, you don't get it that's more squished really up than that, do you? Yeah, really weird. And then we have to put that on one side and that's that so that's part one trifle made we will make a part two tomorrow if we have time of course we'll have time Please. well we're gonna have time like, like, yeah we'll have a lot of yeah. time uh, like my videos subscribe we need to get the amount of subscribers up we do my mum is frantically this recipe is patented Anybody who breaks the patent, I shall sue. Oh, Grandad gets a bit well, of cash in hand if anyone copies Grandad his recipe. Grandad has spoken. Grandad has subscribe spoken. Subscribe to my channel, like my videos. We need to get the subscriber amount up. We do. My mum keeps frantically sharing it on Facebook. It's going on the FB. Do you want to do a shout out to my FB friends? Shout out to Becky Hill. Oh, nice. Um, and Rosemary. All the other Rosemary. Anyone else you can think Izzy of? Izzy Powell. Izzy Powell. Angela, Angela. Who's, who lives near here but has gone back to Birmingham. Ellie and Alfie. Uh, and who's with Ellie and Alfie? Toffee. Toffee. Toffee the dog. But they're the names that spring to mind. We would like to say, should we say a very happy Christmas to absolutely everybody? Yeah, thank you. And please have a very Merry Christmas. And we'll be back tomorrow with the next layer of our trifle. Yep. 
Woo woo! So, bye for now! Bye.